These are the real heavyweights in their category, and they're proud of it. The Land Rover Discovery TD V6 and the VW Touareg V6 TDI. Two massive two and a half tonners ready to iron out even the biggest bumps. The V6 TDI is the best seller in the Touareg program. Six cylinders, 225 horsepower, and 500 newton meters of torque. But all that comes at a price. Rather less powerful, the Discovery TD V6. 190 horsepower and 440 newton meters. In spite of a comprehensive equipment package, it is substantially cheaper. Further comparisons are enlightening. The Land Rover weighs in at 2.6 tons, fully loaded 3.2. That's something of a mammoth. And the ride is elephantine too. It charges into curves, but warns the driver to avoid excesses of zeal. The Land Rover is also significantly 15 centimeters taller than its rival. And the Discovery is not exactly built for speed. The steering is relatively neutral and the motor is lacking in pep. The driver is encouraged to opt for sedate cruising. With the Touareg, this is not the case. It's 100 kilos lighter and has 35 more horsepower thanks to the 3-liter V6 borrowed from Audi. Whereas the Land Rover gives up the ghost at 180, the Touareg rampages on to reach 201. Firmer suspension, more direct steering, the Touareg is clearly the winner on the highway. Land Rover Discovery and VW Touareg. Two 4x4 philosophies which could hardly be more different. The Touareg silhouette, self-confident. Particularly in the rear view. Inside too, individualistic. Luxurious leather seats, quality materials, perfect workmanship. And the Land Rover? A boxy iconoclast. It relishes being challenged and has the technology off-road fans value. Solid hand grips for the front seat occupants, an instrument array like a mountain cliff, the aerodynamics of grandmother's wardrobe, typical discovery. Langen Altheim near Ingolstadt in Franconia, southern Germany. One of the toughest off-road parks, where the wheat is quickly separated from the chaff. Terrain response is the magic the Discovery offers, an off-road system designed to cope with any imaginable driving situation. There are five settings, selected just by turning the dial. Here there's mud to be dealt with. As if hauled upwards by an invisible winch, the 2.6 tons of Discovery is unstoppable. The SE version at 43,300 euros comes with air suspension as standard, allowing water depths of up to 70 centimeters to be forded without difficulty. Terrain response is also invaluable in this situation. Gradients of up to 60% are mastered with ease. The Touareg V6 TDI costs all of 46,000 euros. There's automatic drive and down gearing as standard. Differential locking and air suspension are extras costing a further 4,000 euros. For this reason, the Touareg needs to perform well without the additional off-road assistance systems. It'll be about power. Soon the Touareg must leave the track the Discovery took and seek an easier route. Even here, though, it's a fight. The 
VW get stuck all too often, and then only raw power can save the day. The VW is surprisingly good at water crossings. Even without air suspension, 50 centimeters of water depth can be handled without complaint. But confronted with steeper gradients, the truth must be faced. Without rear axle locking, the problems just get bigger. The pattern of dirt on the vehicles tells a clear story. The Touareg is muddy all over, the Land Rover is clean as a whistle. The Touareg is, however, not to be written off. It has a great engine, excellent finish, and acceptable fuel consumption. But with comparable equipment, it costs 8,000 euros more than the Land Rover. The Discovery makes more sense. It has above-average off-road qualities, adequate comfort, and a reasonable price. Minus points are its weight and resulting poor highway performance. So for us, the Discovery tops the Touareg. For the price, you can't get better off-road performance than the Land Rover offers.